Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to explain how to check our dot H5 model in Gradient because when we are doing one application, we need to deploy our model in that application. Before deploying our model in that application, we can check our model working properly or not. So let's move into our session. I am opening my drive because my all source files are present in my drive only. In this, I am using Inception Neural Network. This is my collaborator notebook. So I need to mount my drive because all source files are present in my drive only. My data set is also present in my drive only. So I'm mounting my drive. It's mounting. Based on your internet connection, it will be loaded. So I can give permissions to access my drive. After mounting, you need to install required libraries. At present, I'm using Inception with me, so I'm importing my TensorFlow Keras. My data set is present in my Google Drive only, that's why I copied that data set path. So, in my drive, I call up notebook. So under phase concept data set, it consists of train and test. So uh, you need to copy this path and paste here. After that, run this cell. So I'm importing inception. We do not rain with existing weights. In this, we are using Softmax. We can use different types of play activation functions. Also, there are different types of activation functions will be there, like real or arc real or tan h. These are different types of activation functions are also will be there. We can use according to your application. So finally, my so we are in this we are creating our one model. So the model summary will be displayed here after on this cell. So I need to compile my model. So I'm compiling my model. Here we are doing pre-processing. It will rescaling. This cell will be done pre processing on data set. So you need to run this cell. My target size will be 224 by 224. So in this, my data set consists of 66 images which are belonging to three classes. I am finding my training set. Uh, training set length means how many classes will be there that it will showing three after the time fitting my model in 
it will take some time because I am running for 35 epochs we can change it to 40 or 50 according to our application not only the application based on that your interest after getting that I need to import matplotlib for showing the accuracy locus so now it's loading Wait for a few minutes. So, 35 books are completed. Now, import this library for plotting our accuracy and loss. So, it results this. After the timing, saving my mod.h5 model. Let's refresh this we can see that accuracy loss version here our model inception dot h5 model so i am using radio right now for that purpose you need to install this libraries no need of concept though. we can install pip install cube radio In this video, I am going to show our own model will be defined to the gradio. So, come to this coding part. So, we are importing gradio. No need, uh, we don't refer to these two. So, we can comment this. We can remove these two also. Now, run this cell so here we need to copy this dot h5 model path this copied path will be pasted here after that here my data set consists of three classes one is abdul kalam another one is tunia another one is rdj according to that it will predict so, so here my model will be the saved model will be predicted here here so labels will be here the per i in range of number of classes here the number of classes here where our data set consists of three classes so that's why it will be stored in number of classes so this is that number of classes it will be shown three if we change the uh, our data set concept and classes according to that it will it should turn that so for that purpose i stored that number of classes into the one variable so that there will be placed here and then here take here my image shape will be 224 by 224 i want to take the property of top three classes so run this cell It's running. Neglect this warnings. So it's loading. So gradient interface will be obtained here. So click on this. We can drag and drop also will be there. So I am taking one image of Robert Rowney Jr. Click on open so submit it. So it's showing 100% because I'm using inception v3. So 
we can get this interface here or we can get this interface in new tab also by clicking on this link here also we can obtain the same interface we can minimize this so i drag and drop the image I'm going to drag and drop here and submit it. So it's showing RDJ. Not only RDJ, I'm doing with other images also. So I'm taking Abdul Kala images. I want to take this image, drag it and drop here and click on submit it. It's showing accurately 100%. So in this way, we can perform this by the help of radio or model working properly or not check by this before deploying so thank you for watching this video for more videos you can subscribe this channel